Welcome back, everybody, to the official channel of Home of Games, where today, out of nowhere, Epic Games surprised us with a brand new mini update, and YouTube also received a new update, where when you hit the thumbs up button, it'll actually turn a cool color. So hit the thumbs up button on this video, and let me know what color it turned down below in the comments. The new Fortnite update moved the battle between the 7 and the IO from the Daily Bugle over to the Condo Canyon point of interest, while the previous battleground at the Daily Bugle received some major, major map updates. Sure, we all remember the last update on Tuesday when we got those mysterious Clombo sized mounds inside of the game, but today we'll all be happy to hear that Clombo has finally made his return, but with one major change. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, we're on the road to 4.2 million subscribers and I would love it if you joined us. And just like that, it's time to hop into the game, ladies and gentlemen. We have a ton of stuff to cover from new map changes to Clombo's return. Let's hop into a game and let's get into it. Before we hop into game and check out the brand new Clombo that just showed up, here we are on the Fortnite spawn island, where first I'm going to show you guys some major changes that we got in the newest update today. Whereas I'm sure we all remember last week, we had the giant war between the Imagined Order and the Seven going down at the Daily Bugle. And get a load of that on our screen right now, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually the blimp that was right above the Daily Bugle crashed right outside of the Sanctuary. Oh my goodness, get a load of this, boys. So so it looks like the blimp is literally on fire. Looks like it's leaking some oil out of the back of it, and there's even more of it underneath the water. The Daily Rubble Landmark. Ooh, they even got a little IO chest chilling here, man. That's what's up. Taking a better look at it in replay mode, you can really see the attention to detail that Epic Games had, literally adding everything onto the ocean floor. It wouldn't surprise me at all if each and every single week we see another blimp actually crash land just like this one. Next up, we gotta make our way towards the Daily Bugle where one of the biggest map changes just happened. And here we are now, ladies and gentlemen. So first things first, get a load of this. This is the brand new tank for the Seven. As you can see, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the Imagined Order tanks, except it has a lovely new paint job. But that's not it, boys. There's something even cooler that I want to show you guys. So right here, you'll notice that we're able to fund yet another armored battle bus, but that's not what I care about. Ladies and gentlemen, if you notice on your screen right now, Epic Games actually added the ghost flag from the ghost faction all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 2. A lot of people think the reason Epic Games added this flag was because they're actually going to be bringing Midas back very, very soon. Personally, I'm not really sure, so make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know your guess as to why they re-added the ghost flag. Now we only have one more thing to check out before we go and check out the brand new Clombo. And for this, we're actually going to need to make our way over to the blimp by Coney Crossroads. And I see it right in front of us right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, it looks like we got a tank here, so we got to make sure that we're careful. Oh, and there's even enemies right here. What up, fishy? Oh, no, he's nading me. Ah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, there's one. Oh, there's still another one right here, though. There's still another one right here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go. But all right, back to it, boys. So here we have arrived at the blimp. All we got to do now is just go ahead and make our way up to the tippity top. Oh, dear. We got an IO guard. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, dear. Leave me alone, mate. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, hey, look at this, boys. So... We have the brand new jetpacks chilling here on the wall just like that. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and pick one of them up. Let's try it out. Yes, the jetpacks are back in Fortnite, boys. The Clombo location is currently inside of the storm, so we'll finish this game out and try and get a victory royale first. Oh, dear. There's one right here. There's one right here. Come here, buddy. Stop running. Yes, let's go. There's even another one right here, bro. What the heck? Let's go. Oh, and get a load of these, boys. It looks like Epic Games has re-added the Easter eggs into the game. We'll go ahead and consume one. Hey, five health and even a nice little jump ability. There he is right in front of us, boys. Let's go smash him. Yes. Oh, oh, what? Bro, you're kidding me. No way did he land on that. Yes, the victory royale. That's what I'm talking about. But now it's finally time to show you guys the newest Clombo location. And I'm sure we all remember in last week's Fortnite update when Epic Games actually added a ton of different Clombo size mounds right outside of the Logjam Lumberyard point of interest. And when you were to go up to these mounds, you would actually complete a secret hidden quest that would grant you some free XP. Here we are inside of a Battle Lab game where we're going to be checking on those mysterious snowy Clombo size mounds. And you're able to 
see that they are actually still here in the game right now. Now, obviously, these aren't the new Clombos that are inside of the game. And even though it's very, very clear that the Clombos by Logjam Lumberyard are still hiding or hibernating, in the latest update that we received last week with the secret quest, there was actually another secret quest attached to Clombo. However, this time it was much, much different because instead of Clombo being located in the snow, there was another Clombo located in the sand. Which honestly makes perfect sense because if you remember last season, one of the Clombos would spawn down on the southeast corner of the map literally every single time. And with a new secret quest telling us to discover some Clombo sized mounds in sandy areas, I think it's about time we hopped into game and found them. Oh, the good news is we got an absolutely perfect bus route for landing at the sandy area of the map. Now, according to the game files, there are a total of three different Clombo sized sand mounds that should be located somewhere on this corner of the map and we'll begin our search right over here at the condo canyon point of interest which is currently in war between the imagined order and the io now first things first we're gonna hop inside of a car just to help us search a little bit quicker and cover as much ground as possible and judging by the clombo sized mounds that are located by log jam lumber yard i feel like there's a higher chance of these things being located on the edge of the map oh we do got to be careful though man because the war is literally going down right in front of us and the zone isn't doing us any favors either bro well, so far we've covered like 25 percent of this sandy area here and so far we haven't found anything i'm honestly not that surprised because i feel like the highest chances is going to be over by the synapse station since that's where my favorite clombo spawned during the last season oh we even got a guy right in front of me right here this is like a free elim Never mind, I missed. Leave me alone, boys. Leave me alone. I'm just looking for Clombo. Don't shoot me. Now we're getting towards the points where I'm expecting to see these mounds, ladies and gentlemen. So right here would probably be the very first spot. And it doesn't look like I'm seeing him anywhere at the moment. Now this right here is looking mighty sus, man. I don't think it's the Clombo size mound, but it is some very, very weird black markings where Clombo literally used to spawn. And I can't help but wonder if the reason Epic Games added all of these blown up cars here was for when we actually tried to blow up Clombo by getting a hundred cars here literally just last season. Oh, is this? Look at this. This is a nice little mound. Is it Clombo's mound? No, it's just a hill. Taking a drive through the Synapse Station, I don't think there's going to be anything in the center of the point of interest. I definitely think it's going to be off the side of the map. So come on, baby. Where are you? I'm looking for Clombo size mounds. Oh, is this it? Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Oh my goodness, is this it? No, darn it, bro. I swear I thought that was it. So even though it looks like the Clombo size mounds aren't yet here inside of Fortnite, they were added inside of last week's update, meaning Epic Games can set them to go live at any moment that they want. But I would say the highest chance we have of seeing this challenge will actually be on the very next Fortnite update, coming up here on Tuesday. As soon as the new secret Clombo quest is in the game, I'm gonna make a tweet letting you guys know where you can complete it. If you guys are hungry for more fun videos just like this one, make sure you follow the official Homie Games Facebook page where I do my best to post a new video literally every single day. Thanks again, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.